and I'm going to write here either one into y equals mx plus b. And those points, the point is the x and the y is what we're plugging in. So mathematicians are lazy. That means that they do the easiest thing possible to get the job done. So a good mathematician would pick uh, which point they think looks easier to work with. I guess I would say that that's maybe the first point for me, but it doesn't matter. Either point that you use um, will work in this equation and give you the same answer. So I'm using this equation right here that I just made when I put the slope in. And I'm going to put in the y, which is negative 0 0.7 right here, equals negative 0.5 times 1.2 right here. It is really important that you pick the two numbers that are in the same point. You can't pick like the y from this one and the x from that one. That doesn't work. Um, plus b. And as you've probably thought in your head already, uh, the next thing you got to do is solve for b. We've got to figure out what the y-intercept is and the slope. And we already know what the slope is, but we still need that y-intercept, just like yesterday. So negative 0 0.7 equals, let's see, half of 1.2 is negative 0.6 plus b. And then the opposite of negative 0.6 is adding 0.6 on both sides. So I get negative 0.1 equals b. So my final equation, let's see, this was step four right here. So for your final answer, you have to rewrite y equals mx plus b uh, with numbers in for m and b. So for step five, let's see, y equals mx plus b, everybody's favorite equation. It's going to be drilled into your head for a very long time. You're going to be an adult and be, your kid is going to be doing algebra homework and you're going to be like, oh, I remember, I remember that. And that's it. That's how you do it. So I'm going to slide back up here for a second. Just kind of set the frame on those directions so that you can make a copy of it if you want to. Um, you should pause the video and do that. Pause, pause, pause. I think you know how mice, mouses work. Mice? Is it mice? Is it multiple mouses for a computer mice? Hmm. It's a question I've never thought of before. <clears throat> and I don't care to look up the answer. All right. So we're going to do one more problem before I let you go and have a decent weekend. Um, and it's the same thing before. You're going to write me the equation of a line that goes through these two points. And those points are negative 5, negative 3, and negative 7, negative 12. So stop the video, try it yourself, turn the video back on when you're ready to give it a shot. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it. Step one. <coughs> Step one, I need to find the slope using y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 equals m. Um, it is just going to kill me um, if you guys uh, are email me and say, what are the steps to how to find, uh, how to write an equation given two points? They're literally right here. Right here are the steps. However, if you were to email me and say, I'm confused about how you do step three. That is an excellent question. I would love to answer it, but I really do hope you guys watch these videos. Okay, um, so I'm going to call this point x1, this point y1. This one's x2, y2. It really doesn't matter which one's which, um, so it doesn't have to be the first one is the first point, but whatever you want to do. All right, so y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So y1 is negative 3 minus y2 is negative 12 over x1 is negative 5 minus x2 is negative 7. Those are some gross numbers. Uh, remember, two negatives right in a row, not this negative over here, but these ones right here, they become positives. Um, negative 3 plus 12 is positive 9. 
and negative 5 plus 7 is positive 2, which means that my slope is 4.5. Step two. All right, step two says that I need to plug the slope in to y equals mx plus b. So let's see, y equals mx plus b, which by the way is one of the equations on the outside of my door of my classroom. Go ahead and check it out. Aw, wait, we can't. Remember there was an Einstein out there? Do you remember what the school looks like? I do. Vaguely. All right. Next, we have to, for step three, plug in a point. It doesn't matter which one into y equals mx plus b. So again, pick the one that you think is easier. I think I'm going to go for the first one again because they're smaller numbers. Um, use this equation right here. So for y, it's negative 3 equals the slope is 4.5 times x, which is negative 5. Again, I use the x and the y only from this point, not from this one. You pick one point and you stick with it. You can't go back and forth. Um, plus b. And then for step 4, I've got to solve for it. So let's see. Negative 3 equals uh, 4.5 times 5 is negative 22 and a half plus b. And then to get rid of that negative 22 and a half, I'm going to add it to both sides, which makes 19 and a half, everybody's favorite number. So our final answer for step five is y equals, I'm going to fill in the slope, 4.5x, and then the b is 19.5. So that would be a line that has a y-intercept of 19 and a half and a slope of 4.5. Not bad at all. All right, hopefully this wasn't too rough for you. Um, let's see. Here's my to-do list. So we're done with the notes for the day. That's awesome. All right, your homework is page 291. Numbers 12 through 14 and 33 and 34. I was given a good piece of advice by one of you guys today that said that maybe it would be helpful if I point out which problems are related to the examples that I'm doing. So 12, 13, and 14 um, are just like example one and example, I'm sorry. Well, that's messed up, isn't it? It must have been driving you crazy. I called this one example three because it was the third one in this section. And this one example two Oh, I'm so sorry for you guys. Um, so example three and example four from this lesson um, are about those. And then um, 33 and 34 are similar to that warm-up we did today. So hopefully that'll help you out. All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully it's not too much to do um, five problems of homework. That's not too bad. Uh, have a relaxing weekend, guys. I miss you. Bye.